All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahashum Wabrakakodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like. To the rest of the church who believe as well, you men who may not be teachers and prophets, you women and children as well. The water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring, and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone. None of this would even be possible whatsoever, okay? So this is going to be a very quick slice of bread, you know, but I figured it'd be a good scripture to bring out. It's a uh, pretty easy scripture to understand, and it can go many ways in terms of what it's referring to so i'm going to read it here this is james chapter 1 and verse 12 blessed is the man that endureth temptation for when he is tried he shall receive the crown of life which the lord hath promised to them that love him so we're going to be tempted in various ways which means we're going to be set to face many trials different trials will come our way and it will be a test and what we're involved in is reflecting on our patience our, our endurance our long suffering hoping to receive that crown of life at the end of it all and the crown of life can be you know minor blessings as well the crown of life doesn't just have to be immortality the crown of life can be you go through a situation and you get through it because you handled it using wisdom and patience the Lord will have you come out more increased than what you were in the beginning and the example that a lot of us brothers like to use because it's just it's in the spirit is Job okay Job had to go through his hell but he came out at the end increased more than what he had before he had went through that situation so the beautiful thing is yeah although it hurts there's always a benefit a reward of getting through it and enduring it and there's not going to be moments where uh, the Lord is going to leave you high and dry if you be of the elect that doesn't mean you're going to always handle a situation perfect us being in the flesh there's going to be times when you know we do things that that ain't in the spirit but then we reflect on the scriptures we reflect on how we're supposed to be you know, we, re we reflect on the fear of the Lord. That's what keeps us in place. That's what keeps us in order. All right. I don't want to make this lesson very long. You know, I'm just on my way to work here. I'm going to read this verse again in James chapter 1 and 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. The most common form of temptation when people think of it today is a man being faced with a woman. Or, you know, adultery. And temptation comes in many different forms. Being in this, uh, this spiritual boot camp, we're going to be put through many trials. But the Lord's going to make us stronger and stronger like the juggernaut uh, from Marvel Comics. How he can just run through walls no matter what's in front of him. He'll just run through it. Not even thinking. Which shows the juggernaut had ultimate faith to know that whatever was set before him, he could go through it, you know? And we gotta have that same faith because we are going to go through it. We're, go we're going to have tension and we're going to have um, opposition, but that's a part of the condition of this battle, man. But as long as we endure and we keep going, at the end of it all, we're going to receive immortality. And even before all that, when you get through a situation spiritually, the Lord will increase you in different ways. And you'll, and you'll see it if you pay attention, you know.
for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. So I figured that'd be a good scripture to bring out. Um, hopefully, not only is it simple, it hits you in the spirit and, and kind of, you know, has you has you think, you know, this is this is about endurance. And the reason why it's about endurance is because obviously this walk was never set up to be an easy walk. If it was set up to be an easy walk, we would have no need to endure because it would be an easy walk. Even the scripture says, you know, we have to endure until the end to be saved. So if we didn't have to endure, that would mean the walk would be an easy walk. But we're in a walk where we go against a lot of, you know, opposition. A lot of people are divided against our beliefs, our spirit, okay, what we stand for. Because that's how the Lord who made everything, that's how he, he made it right now, all right? But whenever we go through trials, we get through it. We endure, we keep fighting, which means if you, no matter what you go through, you still come out in this truth, you're going to win. So all praises to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Wa Rakakwada, Shalom.